Hey everyone and happy new year. This is it. It's finally 2015. There's less than uh, eight months to go before my first space flight, but there's still a lot of training to come in the following months. Uh, I'm back in Star City in Russia for more Soyuz training. Uh, Sarah Brightman is also here. Sarah, of course, is the uh, world-renowned soprano singer uh, who will be the third crewmate aboard our Soyuz. Uh, she'll also be spending 10 days aboard the International Space Station. I don't have any training with Sarah yet, so you probably won't get to meet her until a, a later video. Most of my training, or at least a lot of it in the following months, is uh, focused on Soyuz, simply because the launch and landing phases uh, are some of the most critical phases of a space flight. Most of that training I'll be doing together with two Russian cosmonauts, uh, Sergei Volkov and Gennady Padalka. I'll be launching uh, with Sergei and then landing with uh, Padalka. And most of the training takes place in uh, simulators where we learn how to operate and how to control Soyuz and also how to react quickly and properly to any uh, off nominal situations. And of course, one of the elements that we spend a lot of time uh, learning about is the uh, so-called spacesuit, which will keep us alive in case of any emergencies such as fire in the capsule or a rapid depressurization. Uh, today, I have a review class on the so-called spacesuit, just to remind myself uh, of all the elements, how to operate it properly, uh, and, how, and also to review some of the emergency situations. Uh, so let's go have a look. And here I am getting ready to put on the spacesuit wearing nothing but my wonderful white space underwear. I think it's made from a very, very high-tech material, which they call cotton. I'm not the most flexible person in the world, so putting on the spacesuit can be a bit challenging. And of course, you want to make sure you don't scrape the skin off the tip of your nose as you pop your head through the uh, neck ring. Next comes the headset. Without the headset, you can't speak on the uh, radio, so it's quite an important part of the suit. But uh, the most important part is this plastic bladder, which is what actually provides the um, airtight seal. So you want to make sure you fold that up real nice and neat to get a good seal, and then tie it off with a, a good strong knot uh, just to make sure it stays airtight. You just want to kind of pack that away to protect it. Uh, the main purpose of the suit, of course, is to provide mechanical protection for the bladder and to prevent it from uh, expanding or blowing up like a balloon. Last but not least come the gloves and I'm ready for a run in the Soyuz training simulator.